Moving on, we have popular Nigerian musician and activist Charlie Boy, who has sparked a controversy on social media as he claimed in a recent post that men have taken over from women in the game of cheating. Yes, that is very correct. His assertion comes no, no, on, he's... as in, very correct that, that Charlie Boy said, not, not that I'm agreeing. You kind of agree. Um, okay, sort of. Anyway, his assertion comes on the back of reports circulating online about a 42-year-old man, Tunde Thomas, who died of a heart attack after he discovered that he is not the biological father of his two children. Charlie Boyd described such a situation as bloody and condemned the wife of the man who died. Charlie Boyd wrote, it is a man's world. It is a lie. Oh, no, let your friends deceive you. What a man can do, a woman can do better. Infidelity is heart-wrenching. Being cheated on by someone you love can be devastating. And he went on and on and on. But I just want to get your... Your takes okay. on it really quickly. <clears throat> I know some people may not agree with me on this, but this is why I, I say this generation, I feel love is not that strong in this mm. generation compared to the um, back in the day yeah. with our fathers and everything. So if you find someone that is genuinely in, in love with you and dedicated to you, please don't let that person go because mm. it's hard right now. Yeah. The streets are hard. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Because you find, even when you read Twitter, you see um, a man engaged to a woman before you know, you find out that the man is, um, he has five wives yeah. in the past. So I think it's about this generation right now. And what he said, to me, I just feel men started cheating and women became better. We became mm. better at the game. I think so, too. And you take pride in it. I'm, it's just I'm not sitting out of pride. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just it's just what it is. And you take pride in it. I'm not being proud about it. I'm just because taking Because I'm facts. sitting in the faculty and I'm taking the pride women, in it. The women, like, we're just being smart at it. But the fact that we say men cheat doesn't mean all men cheat, you know, right? And, so yeah. I really and also, don't not all women cheat. That, uh, we're trying to but can you can you admit that they, that it is a popular consensus? It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's scary. You know why it is more scary? Because um, when a man does it, we always get caught. Women yes. are hey? caught. Yes, but I, they, don't always, they don't always. They don't always get caught. Most of the time, we get caught. Most of the time, we get You can look at me. You can look at me some type of way. Don't let it feel like to you. They don't always get caught. There's a lot of chicks look at me that will be cheating way, constantly. They see. We, if you think women don't get caught, they do. Let me tell you why women, women. get caught very <laughs> easily. Okay. Because they rely on men. Do you know what I mean? A lot more, as in, especially in the society. Okay. They rely on, uh, uh, on men for a lot more. Once their attention starts going away from their source, it is clear that they have another source. We, men are a <laughs> bit different, especially because men are not, when it even comes to sex and all those things, mm -hmm. they're not, it's not that deep I'm for them. Touched. They can okay. genuinely have meaningless. I think women too, oh, but okay. it's not that, um, mm -hmm. it's not, that I don't think it's the same pro proportion. Yeah, okay. I think a lot more women would want something The problem is uh, emotional men, we, are, okay. we, we value what is called love. We, we tend not to trade. I think we are even the ones that have meaningful sex the most. Uh, because, hold up, once oh. the sex is good, Right? Okay. You get attached. Now, listen, there are a few things that would chase a man out there to okay. go and look for that meaningful sex. Mm. And that comes with the package, anyways. Mm. Okay. But when it comes to women, they'll go for a lesser man. That is where it is. A lesser happening. man that what? That is somebody that is not even up to your standard. Oh, that's what I you know. used to say. <laughs> you know, maybe that's the guy that's giving her attention, actually you listening to her and her, oh. I'm listening to her dreams. But guess anyway, what? let's, let's not even make this conversation a man will about. On you with a, with a I don't, I don't, woman. I don't even want to make this and conversation. And if they do that, they are probably paying for. I don't want to make this conversation about like who's who who's I don't know cheating is bad it yeah. is and it is heart wrenching I will take that from 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 Charlie Boy mm -hmm. and him saying that it's a man's world is a lie I totally disagree I think that it is a man's world period a man, men who cheat and mm -hmm. you see too many women this but let's year focus. no last year alone there's how many women went back to their their but let's their focus. partners that cheated publicly mm -hmm. but. But you, you're having a heart attack. Go, 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 rest in peace. And you are dying, and people are leaving their families. No, no, because but, they cannot but, even but take the, they cannot even it's, it's take a, the it's, idea it's, of it. It's a different ball game when you're okay. cheating, and it doesn't result in a child. But the moment you what now wait, okay. the moment you now start having a child, and you're taking, you have a child for Mr. B, and you take it back home to Mr. A. That is just cold blooded. There is no two ways about. Okay, is it as cold blooded as you having a child with? In Iedo in, in, in Calabar. At least in Iedo is taking also, care of our own child. Oh, so that, that makes least, a difference. Uh, Angela okay, is taking care of our own child. You know what? Child. We need, we need, we we need some wisdom on this conversation because yeah. we're going very fast. So let's welcome Charlie Boy himself, um, who was on a basically made everybody go AYA on social media and now on Tea Time. 
So let's have Charlie Boy himself come and greet us with his presence and just give us his take on this particular topic. Hello, Charlie Boy, are you with us? Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Charlie Boy. Welcome to Tea Time. How are you? Well, how are you? I'm good. Okay, so well, obviously your, your Twitter has caused a lot of Kasala and he has done the same thing on this table. So I want you to please come in and join the conversation. Tell us what your, what your take is. I mean, we kind of know your take, but what your mind was going through when you said what you said. Okay, well, guys must have to understand right now that uh, things have changed. The world has changed. Okay, and women have always been viewed in the past, you know, not, not anymore. And that's why I said, if a guy walks around to think that it's a man's world, <laughs> it's not a man's world anymore. That has ceased to exist. Okay. Because the women are running things. Mm. Uh, infidelity is really bad for a marriage. And I'm not talking from the perspective that I'm a saint either. You understand? Yeah. Uh -huh. But I think men should have some kind of discipline. And it's not every man that is a cheater. Mm. Okay? Most men are, but I don't agree that every single one is a cheater. Okay? Some people are devoted to their marriages and stuff True. like that. I know that... Um, some men have uh, had kids out of wedlock, but the right yeah. thing to do is to, is to have that conversation with your wife. If it's a mistake, may it never happen again. And then you guys move on. But I frown at the fact that a woman would uh, carry a baby that's not the husband's baby and you know, leads the husbands to believe that the child is his. Man, that is, like I said, cold blood. And that is very bad. But men should understand that women are also sleeping around. Wives are sleeping around. If you go to the city like Abuja, eh? <laughs> it's a sin city. It's the Vegas of Nigeria because there ain't nothing that happens in Abuja that is not about stealing money or wives, a lot of wives just looking for how to pleasure themselves. You know, but that's what goes on. And uh, Lagos is another Vegas of Nigeria too. But it's happening. So as long as we know that it's happening, please, for whatever reason that you may give a woman to start to look somewhere else, you know, you better you better put a, a check on yourself as a man. Yeah, you, you mentioned know, because Charlie two Boy, can play that game. You mentioned that you know it's as cold-hearted for the woman to have the baby and you know want that baby in their marriage when his she's already married to somebody else. And I'm not saying that that's a good thing. Obviously, it's very manipulative, but. The only difference I see, which, which is why I'm kind of going to my question of, you don't think it's cold-blooded for the guy to have another child outside of marriage? Because the difference is that one has to actually carry the child and one doesn't. So if, let's say, both people could get pregnant, men, if men could um, find, if, if men didn't have the option of, like, allowing the woman go deal with the unwanted baby somewhere else, if women could do the same thing too, I'm sure they would. These women that are cheating in their marriages. But because they have to carry the baby they kind of have nowhere else to go and just because you cheated doesn't mean you don't want to be in your marriage we've all seen that that circumstance so because why can't you men bloody too, use a condom men too why don't you even use a condom that, hey, just hey, because you can hide your baby in calabar yeah, just, just because you can hide your baby in calabar does not make you um, um, um what's it called or not a cold-blooded person either the only difference is that she cannot detach herself from her mistake that's the only difference mm -hmm. and there's a reason why that hey. But if you have the baby in Calabar and you know it's your baby, that's a different thing. Because now the woman way born and for you, they tell you, say, this is now your baby. But to carry another man's baby, go give somebody, say now your baby. Come on. 
Charlie boy, sorry, I, I have to interrupt that. Do you think that is also because of the way we treat women and then the lack of understanding? Now, a man wants uh, to be, yeah, a man wants to because be understood most men, whenever yes, he cheats. Yes. A man wants to be understood. They say, have that, they say, have that conversation with your wife. But imagine a wife coming back home and say, honey, I cheated on you. I'm and pregnant. Be, yeah. and, I, how many men will actually accept that child? Exactly. And uh, okay. if I can't even add to that question, if this was, let's take even make it more personal, Charlie boy. If this was you, you have children that are grown now. Mm -hmm. Luckily for you, they kind of look alike, so it's even be hard to make that story. But let's just say, you not for whatever reason, you find out that those kids are not actually your biological kids. Mm -hmm. Are you also going to like? I, I'm sorry, but is that enough deal for you to not want to live anymore and you want to like d and separate mm -hmm. yourself from your family? Like, is that is that how it would be for you as well? So, so who died? Mm. <laughs> I've gone through worse things. Okay, and I'm still standing. So it's for for men with with uh, a sensitive heart. Mm. Okay, they are the ones that uh, get wrong most of the time. Yeah. Because if the guy was observant, mm -hmm. if I don't notice, say, uh, you get as the woman they behave now. Okay, mm. and being in a marriage is paying attention to that relationship, okay? There's no way on earth that you wouldn't know that something is amiss. You may not put your finger on it, but you're supposed to know, say, things know they as the day before, mm -hmm. because you have, you have uh, all the red flags going off. And that is time for you to sit down and talk with your, with, with your spouse, with your partner you know okay so but um yeah if it happens to me i'll just lick my wound and move the hell on okay so i just want to ask a quick question do you think um it's a generational thing because i don't think cheating was really a dominant huh? factor back in the day so the way it is yes now. the way it is now so do you think it's a, uh, it's a yeah it was happening back in the days but not uh, at this, this volume not as mm -hmm. this intensity mm -hmm. You know, not as this rampant. Mm. Now it's all over. Yeah. Okay. It started from, well, I don't know how it started. Let me not uh, <laughs> box myself in the corner. But, you know, if you go up north, where whites are like fixtures on the wall, where husbands don't really pay that kind of attention to wives, what do you expect the wives mm. to do? Mm. You know, predominantly in the north, that's what exists. Forget about their hypocrisy and mm. all the covering that they are covering their body. Man, under those things, eh? Now, hellfire, they go on there. Mm. You know, and that is because most of the men are not on duty as husbands. Mm. Forget it. So the women find other ways to pleasure themselves. All right. So and do you think I dare say that. I don't blame them because I have a few friends from the north and I know how they treat their women. Mm. They treat them like a piece of furniture. Mm. You know, so it is what it would is. You, would I you mean, say it's that? bad both ways. It's would... bad both ways, whether the guy is having kids out of wedlock mm -hmm. or whether the woman is getting knocked over by another guy, it's bad both ways. All right, and that is why we need to be careful because even the marriage institution is falling. Young kids like you, most young kids like you don't believe in marriages. They say marriage, I hear things like marriage is a scam. It is. <laughs> I don't know. But I've been in one for 45 years and still kicking. All right, Charlie Boy, would you say that this is an encouragement in as much as we don't want to encourage cheating? Would you say that it's okay for women now to, you know, whenever you make such mistakes, just come clean to your husband? And would you also advise a lot of men to actually take their wives regardless of whatever? Because, of, for, like they say, during your vows, for better or worse. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, would you say that a lot of men should learn to forgive when such mistakes happen? And Especially because women the women are doing speak? Well, it depends on the relationship you have with your wife if you're best friends 
like for me, if my wife cheats once, that won't be a reason for me for all hell to break loose from me. Cheating is different from I'll, carrying a I child for another man. No. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll try to investigate and find out. Mm. Was it my fault? Was it anything I did? Mm. And then try to make amends. It's easier said than done, but you know, I will. I will, I will try to put that be behind us because I still want the friendship of my partner. Yeah, mm -hmm. wise words. Okay? Wise words, yeah. That's how I will treat my own matter. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, thank you All right, so much yes. for knowledge. Thank you so much. Whew. It's a lot of You're wisdom welcome. being gushed on the table today. Thank you so much, Charlie Boy, for taking out the time to join us on that conversation. Thank you. Alrighty. Well... I think that's solves it. That solves that's it, yeah. Solves it, but I, I like the aspect that you were bringing up because it seems here that I know somebody who left her husband. I was much younger, so I didn't really involve myself in that mm -hmm. conversation. But growing up, I've seen how very unfair she was treated. She left her husband because he cheated. Mm -hmm. And everyone kept calling her a bad wife, that you don't throw away marriage mm -hmm. because your husband cheated. You're supposed to forgive him. Yes. So it's even required that, uh, uh, is it cheating? I'm not making you lose your... Mm -hmm. your, your, your like, yeah, yeah, like... The woman does it, man. A woman does... How dare you? You so that obviously you can see the holy ground where you run go. Sometimes, sometimes even people who cheat are holy ground. Sometimes people who cheat are actually the victims of the relationship. Yeah, most of sometimes they are the ones who are deprived or who have not been treated well or whatever. I still think there's other ways you can you can go about your your victimization. Like you can go ahead and just tell the man that you're really unhappy and make it obvious and stuff which is what i will do which is what I'm, 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 i will tell you like this is not working blah blah mm. blah i want to because i i truly believe that it is it is very natural for human beings to want other mm -hmm. things what and sometimes that doesn't mean that you don't want the old thing you just yeah. want other things sometimes so i like to be very honest mm. um about it so that's why i cannot really just date anyone like i, I know myself yeah. After a while, I'm just like, bro, listen, okay, this is what is happening. Because <laughs> I don't even know how to lie or yeah, tell people then. stories mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, yeah. I think what you said is kind of like a cultural thing. Like, if you, if, if your definitely. husband, definitely, if your husband cheats on you, you start looking at you like, is it because of this small thing? Go back. Mm. It's like everyone starts um, insulting you. Like, I know a strong woman, you know a tough woman, that a mm. woman sits down no matter what. And I actually totally disagree with that aspect. Yeah. And I think one thing that we should really take seriously in Africa is, therapy if you're mm. feeling like you're not really you're not feeling your marriage anymore is not satisfying you why don't you just get therapy two of you separately and together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? and i think sometimes it should also um i accept the idea of separation i think that has worked mm -hmm. for me sometimes mm -hmm. because sometimes i'm really unhappy with with a relationship that i'm in and if you guys know for sure that you're not completely done with each other but it's not working right now mm -hmm. it can be really healthy to take some time apart separate go and do That's what you want to go and do or whatever you know. and then mm -hmm. if you if you decide that you still want to come back together then it was a phase or it was a period because this life partnership thing is it's not rosy dozy which is why i always say marriage is a scam because the marriage the idea of marriage i have in my head i know is a scam because that's not reality that like you find the best person for you and you guys mm. love each other for life i ever, like ever. no that's it's not true but anyway should okay. we move on this is shocking no because it could come me from the person that is taking on this table ah, i'm there exactly why she won't listen to me properly because i know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> anyway popular nigerian artist david adeliki alias david has taken to social media to share an emotional story of one of his tons of his fans rather who went through depression but survived through him and when i say him basically his stories the femme corona narrated this in a recent post he shared on his instagram story um saying that the fans survived depression and frustration in 2020 and pleaded with the singer not to stop posting on his insta story as they were a source of relief seeing the fan story the music maestro reposted the story and captured it this touched me with the heart emoji. As a celebrity, you don't really know the amount of power you hold over your friends yeah. at times. You would have never figured out because when you watch um, David O's story, most of the time he's goofing off yeah. or playing with his friends. So as a celebrity, I think you should just try to make a conscious effort to actually um, try to promote your fans and yeah, promote positivity and encourage them. Yeah. Okay. Um, basically, I think um, a lot of people also need to be very careful about how they use depression and frustration because a lot of people can come out to say, I'm depressed, I'm frustrated. <laughs> I'm not trying to undermine anything. No, you no, it's just a fact because you find a lot of people telling you, I'm depressed these days, I'm, uh, I'm suffering frustration. But what if they I'm, are? You know, mm -hmm. Terry Bojo, so you told you now, some people are really sensitive, if eh? 
Some people are so sensitive that small the videos Instagram Thank story you. can bounce see, them some back. Like, okay, some people will, they, some people will interpret this that I'm looking for a way to go against the video again. No, it's not that. No, way. we never <laughs> did all that aspect. You see, no, the now the video is not even the one that called him frustrated or depressed. The yeah. person himself called him that. So. I'm not gonna lie to you though. I agree sometimes. Maybe because I'm also built stronger. Mm -hmm. Some things that people talk about that has broken them down. I'm like. I'm saying something that may affect That's you may not affect this other person. <laughs> like yeah, I'm just trying, I just try to be more sensitive. I'm like, yeah, are you kidding? I like know, that? That's all that made you. And then also oh, be okay. careful that you're not the cause of your depression and frustration as well, mm. because there are certain things that you will engage in or start doing or start. Mm. When you become messed up and then everybody yeah. cuts you off, you now say that life yeah. is so sad yeah. because... So you need to be careful about using such language. So I'm very sensitive when people tell me I'm depressed. depressed, I'm frustrated. Because well, is it really our place to say if somebody is mm -hmm. or isn't? You don't really I know what you just have to I just okay. need to just ask a few questions. Okay, what if, I, what if, I what if my answer to your questions... I will, that's where I'm getting to. In as much mm -hmm. as I will not be insensitive to say, ah, you know, yeah, it's for yeah. you today. But in my head, I know that, okay, I'm yeah. all fun. Do you understand? Mm. Yeah. Because there are certain situations that I've put my own self in that I know that me I put too. myself yep. there. Yep. Do you True. understand? True. But if other people see me, I can run off with the tag, I'm mm. depressed. Mm -hmm. But actually, it's and new my people. Fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm always careful. Like, I had a friend that would always go to new people to... Mm -hmm talk about her issues because she knows those new people don't have enough information to know that you were the problem mm -hmm. and you cannot mm -hmm. go to the friends that know that you're the one that caused your own ills so when you now go to a new a new environment they and say oh my gosh i'm so sad everyone's like oh oh, oh sweetheart so sorry about that but yeah mm -hmm. i hear i hear what you're saying in regards to um david don't want um and being touched by that i think that's a good thing mm -hmm. i don't think it's only celebrities that have this power on people to be honest okay. there's some people that i know somebody that has followed me everywhere because my, my instagram got like, hacked Okay. And then my new account, which I didn't really do much about telling everybody or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I knew this person who followed me back. I said, oh my gosh, it's so nice to see Wait that you're back on social mm -hmm. media. I don't know this person from Adam. I'm not saying I'm saving the person from depression. But okay. to me, it kind of shows that with social media and the way that world mm -hmm. works, it is so easy that you, you to have influence on someone in a strong way that you have no idea of. Mm -hmm. Like you're being yourself and that's exactly yeah. what people like True. and people want or in your words they okay. need as well so that's really cool but anyway we but it still, it still boils down to music saves life actually uh, uh -huh. actually you know ed as we say his music his personality saved him from Insta depression so without his music how will you know his Insta oh. story well yeah it has to be the music as well it has to be the music okay. to start yeah. with that's mm -hmm. the reason why you follow it david don't yeah, exactly. the story and yeah. then go around and yeah. stuff mm -hmm. yeah so, so is there anybody on social well, i guess which is why tunde's Ednot story even doesn't make me feel bad because <laughs> I feel like they do the opposite, like that his own story probably um, makes you feel makes bad. people feel bad. Like I know someone that came on Twitter to make a whole thread about how um Tunde Edon used to bully her, mm -hmm. used to troll her and everything. And then you have another artist that's coming on so on tea time for saving someone from depression. Like you can see how completely opposite people's personalities mm -hmm. can be. But either way, take from the story that you can use your platform for good. What, however yeah. little Always promote that positivity. Is. Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, let's go on a music break really quickly. This is celebrating a few men in the industry because, I mean, we're talking about a lot of talented men on this on this on this on this, on this, on this table. table rather on this episode who have done a, a lot for themselves and for their fans and for everyone else. Okay, so enjoy. We'll be right back.